I mean, Mac is, is as much of a schemer as I ever That's was. It's impossible. No, you're right. He's worse because I, I, I never sold a third world nation down the river. I'll never believe it, Jake. Come to think of it, listen to this. All in one day, I, I apprehend a fugitive and I, and I uncover Matt Corey's deep, dark secrets. How long will I probably be on the front page? <laughs> You all right? Get away from me. What are you doing that for? I thought you were sick. You look like you were sick. Well, maybe it's the company. You got 10 seconds to get out of here or I'm filing a harassment suit against you. Now, what's it going to be? Listen, this is not over. The Corys are going down. If they do, I will make sure that you are on the bottom of the pile. Get out. It doesn't matter if you don't love me. Well, no, it does matter, Maggie. It matters a lot. I mean, that's why, that's why it happens in the first place, you know? Don't you like me? Yes, I like you very much. But I have a girlfriend, remember? And I, I love her very much. And I, I would never cheat on her. Not in a million well, years. It wouldn't be cheating. I mean, you could think of it as doing a favor for a good friend. What's wrong with that? Well, everything is wrong with that, Maggie. You... you Making love is something you do to somebody that you love because you want to show them and do everything that you can for them. It's about being in love, you know? You're so stupid. No, no, you're not stupid. You, you, you're not stupid. You're very sweet, very sensitive, very uh -huh. talented girl. And you're, you're trying to make me feel better now, right? Well, yes, I am trying to make you feel better, but believe me, it's, it's, it's true. I feel that way. I really do. I mean, someday you are going to fall in love. You listen to me? And... Someday, I hope it's a guy that really deserves you, because you're great. Now, can we stop talking about this? Okay, can we drop it? All right? Yeah. All right, good. All right. See, that now, Jenna has a call. I, 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 I don't know. I, I guess she missed her plane now. You think so? Oh, you don't know the half of it. There was some heavy-duty stuff going down at home, so she's, you know. Right. But she can probably handle it. She, she always does. Are you all right? How about you? Oh, yeah, me. I, I'm fine. I'm cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You hungry? Uh, what? Oh, I figured that you probably didn't eat anything. I thought we could go grab a bite at the Planet Hollywood or the Hard Rock or whatever. You're kidding me. No. No. Oh, wow. I'm starving well, in yeah. that case. Well, I'm going to go get dressed. Let's go grab a bite to eat. Then we stop at the China Club, see who's playing. You really mean it? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, gee, you're the best. That's all right. Tonight was amazing. <laughs> you know, all these months I've had these feelings. I guess I just didn't want to admit it. You're an incredible woman, Lorna. You know what you want. You know, I get it. I want to spend the night. As soon as I could. You all right? You look a little pale. I'm fine. Fine. What's happening? We're about to start questioning Ian Rain. Did you tell him about my phone call? What phone call? Paulina called my office earlier tonight and left a message about Ian. You're going to turn him in? No, I, I was. We, we were trying to figure out the best way for him to give himself up. None of that matters anyway. It's all hearsay. Look, can't you tell him about our meeting? You said that the court would look favorably on somebody who turned himself in. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. But it might have if Jake hadn't gotten involved, right? Look, this is getting us nowhere. Harrison, let's start the interrogation. Yes, sir. Cass, be right in. Watch what you say around here. And I couldn't vouch for our conversation because you never told me straight out that Ian was with you. Well, I know, but I was still trying to work no things buts. out. No Your friend is in deep trouble. They've got him on breaking and entering, abduction of a minor, and resisting arrest. And that's all before he jumped bail. 
I never should have talked him into coming back here. That's exactly the attitude that's going to put you behind bars, so knock it off. How could you get tangled up with Ian Rain like that? What were you thinking? Hey, forget about Ian, okay? You want to be angry at someone? Be angry at Spencer and Jake. What are you talking about? If we don't do something fast, Amanda, they're going to blow our family to smithereens. Are you, are you talking about the rumors? That they're spreading about Daddy? Do you know what they are? It's going to be a lot harder on the rest of the family because you all knew Mac and loved him very much. I know how close you were to him, Amanda. I'm really hating the sound of this. Jake and Spencer got their filthy hands on some document that seems to prove what Ian has been saying all along. What, that Daddy betrayed Ian, Ian's father? No, I don't believe it. This, this paper makes it seem like Mac cut his partners out of a huge land sale and they kept the profits for himself. No, that would never have happened. Look, I don't want to believe it either, okay? But Ian saw the land himself. Someone cut down the rainforest and made a killing, Amanda. Well, it wasn't our father. Well, Aina, we're ready for you. Look, uh, Ryan, could I have a minute, please? I gotta... Do... Now! Back to bed, sunshine. No can do. Business calls. It's two thirty in the morning. No, I'm sorry. I've got, I've got to, I've got to finish this stuff. Don't let me keep you from falling asleep. Just ignore me. <laughs> That's impossible. I'll be right with you. I just have to finish this one page. Well, don't you even want to talk? About what? I just, I just have to get this done. We can talk some other time. Okay. We'll talk later. What are you doing? Are you, are you leaving? Well, call me crazy, but I would rather sleep next to a beautiful woman than listen to the sound of a fax machine. I'm sorry, but I really do have to get this stuff done. Hey, I wouldn't think of keeping you from your fun. I let myself out. See ya. guys knew exactly who you were. It was yeah. so cool. I can't believe it myself. I know. Yeah. They thought you were the best. <laughs> well, if it wasn't so late, I'd call Jenna and tell her myself. Right. Yeah. It, it's, it's way too late. So you, you can tell Jenna... Tell Jenna what, Maggie? Hmm? Jen. All about your big scam? So, when were you going to tell Dean, huh? How hard you worked at ruining everything that my mother and I have worked so hard for for months? What? Uh, Jenna, what did she say? What, what did you say, Maggie? Uh, I, I, I didn't... Oh, come on, Maggie. You're not going to lie your way out of this one. You know everybody knows the truth in Bay City, including your family. Do, does somebody want to tell me what's going on? I, I Mom don't... wasn't drinking last night, Dean. She was at Tops all night. Then what, then what, what happened? Your little friend here is responsible for the message that I got. I guess she figured that if I missed my plane, she could spend the night with my boyfriend. Hold it a second. Herself. You set this whole thing up by telling everybody back home that, that, that Felicia Dean, started drinking I, again? I'm sorry, what are you I crazy? Just, I, I didn't. I just you, thought. You didn't, that... you didn't think at all. That's your problem. Do you know how hard? You know how hard it's been on them both. 
Now, I thought it was on Felicia to stop drinking in the first place. Gene, What I'm... is the matter with you? I'm sorry. I didn't figure anyone would get hurt. I mean, it's not like it was true or anything. You know something, Maggie? Not only was it a dumb idea, but it was mean and cruel. And you couldn't be anybody's friend even if you wanted to. And if it wasn't for your family, I would have called your probation officer myself. Let's call. We'll call in the morning. We'll take care of all this in the morning. No, okay? we can take care of it now. I'm no, leaving. You're not going anywhere. You stay. You hear me? You're staying right here. New York is messed up enough without you on the streets, okay? Come on, Vanessa. You can wash up a little, all right? You stay here.